Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys. What's the energy you guys got going on? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all of your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Virgo spirit. Show me, let me see what I need to see for my Virgos. Let's see. Show me spirit. I do hope you all are well. Yeah, so we have ride the waves, life lessons and growth. You will get through this. Hmm. Your spirit guides are telling you guys, you will get through this. Right now, present moment, there may be obstacles. Things may not be going according to plan. Things may not be happening the way you want it at the time that you want it. There could truly be some challenges for some of you guys. Right now, present moment, your spirit guides are calling you guys to kind of just ride the wave present moment. You will get through this. Know that you're going to get through whatever this is that you're over that you're you're overcoming because we're going to speak that into existence. You are actually going to be overcoming whatever hardships, whatever hardships, whatever obstacles, whatever challenges, whatever conflict you guys will be overcoming that there is some lessons that's coming out of this. Those lessons are going to help aid growth. Those lessons will help. And they're also going to aid your growth. Massive, massive energy. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to ride the wave. You will get through this. It may not feel like that right now, present moment. It may not seem like that right now, present moment. But in due time, you're going to see the changes. In due time, you will see the changes. Nice energy. Nice energy. Show me. Show me spirit. So we have plunge. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. What is it that you're wanting to do? What is it that, you, that you're being called to do? There's something here for some of you guys. You're being called to do something. Your spirit guides are calling you to take that leap of faith. Some of you guys, you may be considering moving somewhere else. Some of you guys, you may be, be, be considering putting your name. I'm getting like putting your name in the draw. There's a drawing, there's a selection, there's a position, there's an application. There's something here about you wanting to place yourself in the position. There's some type of growth, some type of endeavor that you guys may want to actually pursue. I feel like you may be a little hesitant. For some of you guys, you may feel like you're lacking resources. I feel like your spirit guides are saying that if there's a will, there is a way. There's, there's a need for you guys to investigate. If you feel like you're lacking resources, there are resources available to you, but it's going to take you guys actually investigating, actually diving a little deeper, digging things up. It's going to take some work and some effort on your part, some work and some effort on your part, but don't hold back. Now is the time. If there's something here that you've been wanting to pursue, if there's some type of change that you've been wanting to happen, if you yourself, you look and you're like, I want change. I want this to change. That change can happen. You have to go forward. You have to take that plunge. You have to take that leap of faith. If you want a new life, if you want a bright new beginning, if you, if you feel like you want a clean slate and whatever this is for you, your spirit guides are telling you to take the plunge, dive in, go forward. It can only get better. It can't get no worse than where you already are. Massive energy. And then we have the mist. Trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Follow your heart. Follow your spirit guides. Follow your guides. Follow your intuitions. Be led from within. Don't follow in no one else's footsteps. Don't do something for somebody else's accord. 
Do it for your own accord. Do what you want to do. This is your life. Live it the way that you want to live it. Trust your inner compass. Don't let someone else lead you astray. You trust your own intuitions. Trust your own guides. Trust your own compass. And keep your compass north. Keep your compass north. As long as you keep your compass north, all will be well. All will be well. What you don't see, making waves. Momentum is building. It's your time. What you're not seeing is that there is so much achievement and success in your future. There is so much achievement and success in your future. Your spirit guides are telling you momentum is building. There's some of you guys, there's something that's stirring up inside of you and you know that you have a calling. You know you have a purpose. You know you're supposed to be doing something bigger and better than what it is that you're doing right now, present moment. Even if there's something that you're doing right now, present moment that you actually enjoy doing, there's something here of it being that you being able to do something on a more massive level. There, there's, there's opportunity for growth. There's opportunity for abundance. There's opportunity for true, true fulfillment and happiness. It tells you it's your time. Now is your time. I see a lot of achievement. You guys do not see this coming, but you have massive, massive achievement coming in for you. Massive achievement coming in for you. Beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. Show me spirit. Let's see. Let's see what you guys should be focused on right now, present moment. What is it, Spirit? What is it that my Virgos need to focus on right now, present moment for this achievement? Show me. Oh, your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, my loves. Pay attention to your dreams. Let me tell you, my dreams were crazy last night. <laughs> Show me, show me, Spirit. What, what is it that my Virgos need to pay attention to? We have confidence. Pay attention to your confidence, your self-esteem. Like, I feel like you guys, you need to focus on being confident in yourself. Don't, and I feel like that's, for some of you guys, that may be the hesitation. That may be the hesitation, your confidence level. Your confidence level may be the hesitation and also pay attention to your dreams. And I'm also getting for you guys to focus on your dreams, the things that you want for yourself, anything that you dream up, the life that you want for yourself, the accomplishments that you want for yourself. I feel like your spirit guides want you to focus not only on the dreams when you go to bed at night, but also focus on your dreams, your goals, your ambitions. I feel like some of you guys, you may have been a cheerleader for somebody else for way too long. And now it's your time to shine. It's your time to focus on what you want for yourself. It's your time to chase your own dreams, not someone else's dreams, your own dreams. And for you guys to maintain confidence, stay strong in your confidence, believe in yourself. I feel like you guys, you guys need to believe in yourself, massive energy. And then we have boundaries. Focus on boundaries. Focus on detoxifying your area. Focus on detoxifying relationships, connections itself. Whatever doesn't serve you, you need to set boundaries. Your spirit guides are telling you guys to set boundaries and psychic abilities. Focus on your intuitions. Listen to your intuitions. The feelings that you get, pay attention to those feelings. Those feelings will not, those feelings that you get, they're not failing you. They're protecting you. They're there to protect you. That's why you've been gifted with those abilities. They're there to protect you and focus on what inspires you. What lights that fire beneath your foot? Like, I feel like your spirit guides want you guys to focus on what truly, truly inspires you or who truly inspires you. Because I'm getting for some of you guys, it's a who. It's a who. There's something about someone for some of you guys. It could be a thing, yes. But for some of you guys, there's something here about someone actually inspiring you. Massive energy. Look at that. Well-being. Focus on you guys' well-being. I feel like some of you guys, what we're not seeing here is that you're going to have to. There's something about you guys needing to do something better for your physical, physical health, your physical body, your physical appearance. Focus on your well-beings. Also, moving forward, focus on your well-being, your mental well-being, you know, your, your emotional well-being, your physical well-being. I feel like you guys need to focus on that in the very near future. But that's, 
I don't know why I'm getting like a lot of you guys. That's where your focus really and truly is steering. I feel like you guys are steering in that direction right now, present moment. I just feel like you guys will be more engulfed in that pursuit. I feel like you guys will be more engulfed in truly focusing on your own well-beings, putting your own well-beings before other people's well-beings. I think finally you guys are getting the message. I'm getting that. Like finally you guys are getting the message. Finally you guys are understanding the assignment. Because I feel like there's something here about something has taken a toll on you and now it's like you're trying to get right. Some of you guys, this is your financial well-being as well. Some of you guys, this is your focus on your financial well-being. Now it's your time to get right. Massive energy. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Virgos. Ooh, two of swords. You guys are protective. You guys are being very much so protective. Very much so protective. Ace of wands. At your, at your ideas, you're protecting your work, you're protecting your creative projects, you're protecting your ideas, you're protecting your sanity, <laughs> you're protecting your sanity, you know, I feel like some of you guys, you have some relationships that's on, that's your shoe shooing about, like you may have a new love interest here that you're kind of keeping quiet, there's something here about you guys protecting something relevant, something that you're very enthusiastic about. Something that you're very much so enthusiastic about. I feel like you guys are getting a lot of ideas right now. A lot of ideas, a lot of downloads. Some of you guys could be journaling right now, present moment. Trying to figure out what's your next steps. Trying to figure out what you're going to do next. What you're going to do next. Some of you guys, this is a creative endeavor. This is a new creative endeavor. You have decisions that have to be made. But you're protecting it. You're holding it near and dear. You're protecting it and you're holding it near and dear. Show me. We have the high priestess. See that? This talks about your intuitions. This talks about your psychic abilities. Some of you guys are starting new spiritual, um, new spiritual endeavors. Some of you guys could truly, truly be starting new spiritual endeavors. Some of you guys could be tarot and oracle card readers. Some of you guys could be psychics and mediums. You know, I'm getting a lot of spiritual energy here. But I'm also getting you guys actually making money from it. Massive energy. Eight of Wands. Look at that. Communication. Pisces energy here with the High Priestess. But I feel like this, this talks about fast action. Some of you guys could be traveling. I'm getting someone here going to like some type of healing resort or something. Like somebody here actually going somewhere like on a retreat or something like that. Someone traveling. Some of you guys could truly, truly be traveling. I'm getting healing waters for some of you guys. Yeah, truly, truly traveling. There's some things here that you guys are doing. And there's, again, there's a hush. There's a hush around things that you guys are doing. Yeah, show me. We have the Six of Swords. Moving on to Karma Water. Some of you guys are actually relocating. Some of you guys are relocating or you're, plan you're, you're, plan you're planning to relocate or you're relocating. Some of you guys, you're planning trips or you're taking trips. Some of you guys, you're planning an escape. <laughs> some of you guys, you're planning an escape or some of you guys, you're planning to leave something behind. But you're plotting and you're planning. You're planning and you're planning. You're getting, you're getting your ducks in the row. You're getting your ducks in order. That's what I'm getting in this, in this energy. Yeah, strength. Leo energy massively strong trying to overcome obstacles trying to put yourself in a better posture you guys are trying to put yourself in a better position a better posture a lot of focus on putting yourself in a better position a better posture beautiful energy beautiful energy show me five of cups look at that you guys don't want to have any regrets why do i feel ace of cups you got some new love here new emotions new intuitions here why do I feel like, you know, some of you guys, you may be in this five of cups energy, but not, or you're just coming to the realization. Like, you know, we have our moments. That's what I'm kind of getting with this five of cups energy. It's like having a moment. This is just a moment, a moment of feeling regretful, a moment of kind of being a little sad. Some of you guys, you may experience some type of grief. You may be grieving right now, present moment. You may be mourning right now, present moment. But this is a momentary, this is momentary because you still do have two cups. There's still possibility of change. You know, some of you guys, you may, there's something or someone new that's coming into your life that's going to 
help subside that grief, help you through this morning, help you subside that grief, help you through this morning. I feel like there's something here new that's coming into your life that's going to, because we have this Ace of Wands and we have the Ace of Cups. So there's a lot of new here. But what I'm getting in this energy, it's something that's pulling you out of this energy. Something that's pulling you out of this energy. What is this that's pulling my Virgos out of this energy, Spirit? What is this that's helping to pull my Virgo out of this energy? So we have the Five of Wands. There's some changes that's about to come in. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. There's some changes that's about to come in, but there's something here about your investments. What is this? The Hierophant. Some of you guys, you have somebody that's, you have a person. You have an actual person that's going to help and aid you and in moving into a better direction. A lot of you guys, you are, there's a development of your spiritual gifts. There's a development of your spiritual path. Whomever this person is, there's someone here that's coming into your life. There is a development of your spiritual gifts and your spiritual paths massive energy and i feel like it's when you need them the most because with the five of wands and the five of um cups this is telling me that you guys are dealing with people right now present moment or you've been dealing with people in your life they haven't been in alignment with you these individuals haven't been in alignment with you or there's a feeling of things just not going your way there's a feeling of things just not going your way but it's about you guys not giving up it's about you guys being patient because the seven of pentacles is patient. The seven of pentacles takes hard work. This talks about some true, true hard work, but it also talks about patience because you have to patiently, even you have to keep, keep pushing and patiently wait for the change to happen. Patiently wait for the growth. Patiently wait for the return of your investment. And I feel like you guys right now, present moment, you're having to patiently wait. But with the Hierophant, you, it talks about your commitment. It talks about your commitment and that commitment. What is that commitment bringing in spirit? We have the Ace of Swords, clarity. I popped it, <laughs> I popped it, but it talks about clarity. You guys got all three aces. You got your Ace of Cups, your Ace of Wands and your Ace of Swords. Talks about mental clarity, talks about truth, talks about honest, that's your sword of truth. This talks about protection as well. This talks about protection as well. Which sword are we missing? So we have our Ace of Cups, our Ace of Wands, our Ace of Swords, and our Ace of Pentacles. That's the only Ace that we're missing. That's the only Ace that we're missing. I feel like that's why you guys are having to continue working. Look at that. We have our Ace of Cups again. New love. Some of you guys, this is a new friendship. This is a new relationship. New friendship, new relationship, but I'm also getting new abilities. Some of you guys, you're tapping into your spiritual growth. I'm telling you, you're tapping into your spirituality. You're tapping into your gifts. Massive, massive energy. Massive energy. You guys are going to be making waves. There's a lot of achievements here. There's a lot of achievements. And you guys are going to be making waves. Massive, massive energy. Show me spirit. Show me what's your advice for my Virgos. What's your advice for my Virgos, spirit? Ooh, dedication and denial. So stay dedicated to your goals, efforts that will reap success. So your spirit guides are telling you guys to stay dedicated to your goals, to your dreams, to your goals and to your dreams. Your dedication is going to get you to those achievements and to that success. It says denial, failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles or addiction. This is you guys needing to stay strong. This is you guys needing to stay strong. You need to fight against certain urges, fight against certain negative feelings, negative patterns, negative thoughts. This is you guys. It says failure to accept situation. This is like, I am not going to, I am not going to settle. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I am not going to settle. I deny anything negative that's coming my way. I deny any negative energy. I deny anyone who doesn't wish me well massive massive energy it says unhealthy cycles are addiction i am healthy i am in control i want you guys to tell me that in the comments 
I'm making healthy choices, both personally and professionally. I am in control. I want you guys to remember to stay in control. You are the driver. You're not the passenger or the rear seat driver. <laughs> you are the driver of your own life, your own dreams, your own wishes, your own goals, your own desires. This is your life. Massive, massive energy. Stay dedicated, my loves. All right, my loves, that's what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time. Bye, guys. Oh, well, you know, it would have probably helped if I would have turned this on.